Hey friends, this is Atif. Hope you're well and welcome to the new update on Bitcoin. Previously, we saw that the price action of Bitcoin broke out this resistance of the descending triangle and moved down. And now it is retesting the previous resistance as a support. And in today's video, we will try to analyze whether the price action will be moved up from here or it will move back again inside this triangle and before starting the analysis if you're not subscribed to my channel so far then do subscribe it and if you would like to support me at the patreon then i've also shared the link in the video's description you can find there okay first of all i want to show you this chart and here we can see that the price action uh, broke out this resistance here and now it is retesting this previous resistance as a support that is a perfect bullish setup once the price action will successfully retest the previous resistance as a support then we will need to break out this uh, level of the that is the high of the previous candlestick on which we had the breakout for example the high of this candlestick uh, of this one uh, which broke out this resistance of the triangle was 36,620 uh, $23 and once the price action will break out this resistance after this retest that will be the perfect bullish setup and a perfect entry point for the Bitcoin and then we can expect the next target of the Bitcoin uh, can be uh, if I take the measurement from this tail of the triangle up to the support and place it here at the breakout point then we can see that our next target can be 45000 $460 and in this situation the price action can also break out the weekly EMA 21 as well that we have been discussing a lot in in my previous videos but so far the volume is very low and to measure the volume again I have placed a volume profile here a volume oscillator here and we can see that previously when uh, the sell volume was triggered here then the value of the volume oscillator was uh, more than 40 you can see the values here and here we had the buying volume and the value of the volume was 12 and here the value of the volume was 17 and now at this time you can see that the oscillator is moved down in the in in the negative territory now if i switch to the four hour chart then we can see that the price action has successfully retested the previous resistance as a support and it is likely to move up from here but at, as we have discussed earlier in my previous videos that we we, we want to watch the breakout on the daily time frame chart not on the hourly or on the four hourly chart because the small time period charts can give the false signal therefore i'm just switching back to the daily time frame chart in here at this time the price line is retesting the previous resistance as a support and after this retest once we will have the closing above this level that is thirty six thousand six hundred and twenty three dollars then that will be a powerful bullish signal however uh there is still a very strong uh, resistance the price level resistance after even after this break breakout that is at thirty nine thousand five hundred dollar and we can see that the price action is being rejected again and again by this uh, resistance level previously we had this breakout but the price action could not break out the next price level uh, resistance of thirty nine thousand five hundred dollar therefore this moment will be very important when the price action will be reached at this level that is approximately at forty thousand dollar thirty nine thousand five hundred dollar but i believe that once we will have the perfect bullish setup like at this time the price action is ideally uh, retesting the previous resistance as a support and once it will also break out this level that is the high of the previous candlesticks on which we at this breakout then that will be the perfect bullish setup and the price action can hit the next target that is above forty five thousand dollar okay let's talk about this very powerful bullish signal that i talked about yesterday that was uh, that the price action has uh, bounced by this 50 simple moving average on the weekly time frame chart and some of the followers some of the viewers were asking that whenever previously in the history three times it has been happened that whenever the price action uh, broke out this 50 simple moving average and moved at the 50 simple moving average again for the first time after breakout it started the next rally and but, but after uh, every rally the price action broke down the 50 simple moving average but only here the price action did not broke down the 50 simple moving average and moved to the upside 
So is it possible that this time the 50 sim, uh, the price action will start the next rally to the upside like 50 to 100% and it will break down the 50 simple moving average again? I'm expecting, in my opinion, no, because at the same time, if we take a look at this, uh, this is the same uh, same chart. I have, I've switched to the daily time frame, and here I have placed the uh, support level, very important key level support level or area that start from thirty one thousand dollars to uh, twenty eight thousand eight hundred dollars, and we can see that here the price action found a lowest support at $28,800 started the next rally to the upside and again moved at this area so at this time we are also having a very very good bounce by this very very important key level support as well because whenever in the history of the bitcoin take a look at the previous history of the bitcoin whenever the price action found any support during the bull run and started the next rally to the upside the price action never broke down uh, such supports and this key level support is from such kind of supports let me just show you uh, from the previous history of the bitcoin i'm just switching to the weekly time frame chart uh, it, so it will be easy for us to find the previous moves and here we can see that the price action previously uh, here we had the market shake off like we we are having currently sorry not this one after uh this 2017 bull run uh we had before before this bull run here uh we had the market shake off and the price action found a support at approximately three thousand dollar here and after this shake off the price action found the support started the next rally to the upside and after ending the bull run even the price action moved down at the support but did not break down the support and move to the upside from here and same thing happened even in the bull run of uh, 2013 as well let me show you the bull run of 2013 and we can see that here the price action found the support after extreme uh, very very powerful market shake off here the price action found the support at $60 approximately. Let me just show you. Uh, we had this support approximately at $60. If I place the trend line, then it will be easy for us to watch this support at $60. Okay, this was the support that the price action found at that time. And the price action never even uh, came back to this support and you can see that it moved to the upside and even moved down but did not hit this support and started the next rally so we are having such kind of support here this is our support area that after uh, this powerful rally the price action has started the next rally to the upside you can see that uh, the price action moved up found the support here and moved up again and it happened during the bull run like it has been happening uh, in the in the previous bull runs as well therefore i was expecting that this time after hitting the 50 simple moving average let me place the 50 simple moving average here on this chart so after hitting the 50 simple moving average the price action will not very soon break down the 50 simple moving average even it will continue its bull uh, its bull rally and it can even break out the next resistance here that the price action of bdc has found approximately at sixty thousand dollars so this was the update so far i hope that you have liked the video then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well and if you would like to support me at the patreon then i've also shared the link in the video's description you can find there take care goodbye